Multiplication Year 4. Please ensure that you have viewed all the other video clips of multiplication up to the point of Year 4 so that you understand how the children progress to this point. By the end of Year 4, children should know by heart their multiplication facts for the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 times tables, including being able to multiply by 0 and 1. The children should be able to complete calculations such as these fairly quickly. So for example, 60 multiplied by 2. I know that 6 multiplied by 2 is 12, so 60 multiplied by 2 is 120. Something multiplied by 4 is 160. I know that 4 multiplied by 4 is 16, so 40 multiplied by 4 is 160. Children will use partitioning to multiply two digit numbers. So for example, 23 multiplied by 8. 23 is a two digit number made up of 20 and 3. So children partition the 23 into 20, the two tens, and 3, the three units. So multiplying the 20 first by 8, 2 times 8 is 16, so 20 times 8 is 160. And then multiplying the 3 by the 8, that's 24. I then need to recombine these two answers to get the final answer. So adding together the 160 and the 24 gives an answer of 184. So 23 multiplied by 8 is 184. They may also use a grid method in order to partition the two-digit two number. So the 20 is partitioned into 20 and 3 and then we are multiplying by 8. 20 multiplied by the 8 is 160. 3 multiplied by the 8 is 24. And the two answers, when recombined and added together, give it an answer of 184. So that's the grid method they can use also. Children also use a more formal written method for multiplication. To help with understanding, a more expanded method is first introduced. So, for example, 23 multiplied by 7. Um, I'm going to use the headings tens and units to help me, or hundreds, tens and units to help me. 23, two tens and three units multiplied by seven. Okay, first of all, I am multiplying this seven by the three. We always start with the least significant digit here, which in 23 is the three. So seven multiplied by three gives the answer of 21. And I need to place those digits in the correct columns, the one in the units and the two in the tens. Then we move on to the next digit, which is the tens. So I'm doing seven multiplied not by two, but by 20, because the two is in the tens. So seven, multiplied by 20 which gives an answer of 140 and again I need to place those digits carefully in the correct columns. Okay I then need to add these two sections together so I have an answer, a final answer of one in the units, two and four tens make six tens and one hundred gives 100. So 23 multiplied by 7 is 161. When the children are confident with this method, 
um, we move on to the more compact method um, when, the, when they are ready. So for example, still using my headings to help me with my columns. 23 multiplied by 7. Again, starting with the least significant digit. 7 multiplied by 3 is 21. I leave the 1 in the unit and I carry the two tens to the tens column. Then I move to the next digit, which is the two tens. Seven multiplied by two tens is 14 tens. And because I've carried here, I need to add these as two tens as well. So 14 tens, add these two tens is 16 tens. So that becomes 161.